this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we're going to do a special demonstration of the Spruly Spiral Slicer. So many of you may have seen this other style and already have a YouTube demo on this exact unit. This is called the Spiral Slicer or Salad Daco. It's a popular unit that I did a demo on before. And the main thing with this guy is that it has basically um, a 1.5 millimeter slice. So basically it makes really thin angel hair style pasta noodles out of you know 100% vegetables so I say pasta noodles because raw food is people that don't cook their food actually use this and it makes long or more appropriately long julian strips that could be five six feet or longer even so that's this one this does 1.5 millimeter if you want a little bit more flexibility that's where the spruly comes in the spruly has built-in blade storage which is really nice and it has as you can see there's three blades there's one two and three blades and uh, this blade is actually a three millimeter blade so that'll make a three uh, millimeter wide strip or julienne strip or pasta however you want to call it and uh, you know definitely up to six feet or longer this will make the five millimeter strip so I like to call this one the spaghetti the standard spaghetti style sized and this is maybe a linguine style, so a lot you know, wider and flatter kind of noodle versus this one. The other thing they have here is the uh, Curly Q Maker. It also makes chips as well, and you'll get to see that in just one minute. So these blades easily stir away in the machine when you're not using it. It's really nice and handy. Some of the other features this machine have has are has a uh, basically suction cup feet. So if you put it down, it'll basically suction on. And as you can see, I'm literally picking up this, uh, <laughs> this granite block with the suction on the spruly, so it's really powerful. And to undo them, they have these little um, tabs that you actually pull, and it makes it really easy. You just pull the tabs up, and it'll come undone. So that's really nice. And this works on a, basically a, a horizontal slicer, so you put the produce here. As you rotate it, you push in and it basically cuts. So let's go ahead now and get into um, using the spruly and making some noodles and showing you how that works. All right, so produce selection is very important when you're gonna use the spruly. It's very important. Even before you're gonna use it, you wanna be in the grocery store or if you're in your garden or at a farmer's market, produce selection is paramount to get good success with the spruly. So the first thing you want to look for is you want to look for something that's nice and fat. So you see the diameter on this? It's nice and fat. It's not really thin and skinny. So things that are nice and fat work the best. You also want things that are nice and firm. So this is nice and firm and fresh. Things that are like spongy and bendy, they don't really work well, so don't buy them. The other things that don't work well, this is a yellow squash, and many times you'll see these like curved. So you don't want squashes that are like curved, you know, you want them nice and and, and straight and uniform. On the carrots here, these are actually excellent carrots to use. They're nice and fat carrots. A lot of carrots are, you know, long and thin pencil-like carrots. Those won't really work. These are the kind of carrots that are going to work best in this machine here. Here's a, a gray squash, gray zini. This is going to work really well too, nice and fat once again. And we have your standard zucchini squash. So uh, basically to go over that, you don't want anything curved. You want it nice and flat. You want it widest diameter as possible. You don't want it old and soft. You want it nice and firm. Now squashes that are too big, they get the seeds, once they get too big and too mature, the seeds start to get big and then that really will mess up this machine. So you want to try to get a younger squash that's you know nice and big. And so those are some of the tips to pick produce when using this spruly. All right, one of the things I like to process that's really popular that a lot of people like to process in the spruly is the a standard green zucchini. Now what I like to do first in a lot of instances is actually peel the zucchini first because when you peel it first then you put it through the machine it literally looks just like pasta. I mean if you don't peel it you'll see like little you know green kind of like edges on the pasta but if you peel it it'll be totally white so it's really nice so you can use a vegetable peeler or you can check out my other video it's actually called the zucchini or cucumber peeler you literally put this through the peeler in one fall swoop it'll peel all sides of the zucchini and it'll be ready to use in the spruly. So today we're going to do the three millimeter slices 
in the spruley of the green zucchini. And once again, we need to cut off both ends and make them straight. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now check out making three millimeter pasta in the spruley. All right, so the spruley is really easy to use. Let's go ahead first and use a standard green zucchini. And as you can see, the blades just come in and out by sliding in and they lock into place. So this here is the three millimeter blade size. So basically what happens is the produce goes through here and it gets sliced, then it gets sliced again. So this makes the long julienne strips or pasta like strips. So we're gonna go ahead and snap that in. Then it's really easy. What you're gonna to wanna to do is center the center of the zucchini into the center of this circular cutting or guiding blade and you're just going to gently push that in to center it up. You're going to hold that parallel, so you can see this is parallel with the machine. You don't want it angled down or up or either direction, as centered as you can. Then you're going to hold it in place, and while you're holding it in place, you're just going to literally push this in, and these teeth will stick into the produce. So you want to get a nice, firm grip on there. Then basically, I like to use two hands. You're going to hold the machine with one hand. Oh, actually, the next thing is you're going to take this and you're going to, um, you know, push that. Actually, I think they want you to push with this, but I like to actually hold this and then I'll turn. So you, as you're turning, you're kind of putting pressure in this direction to have the machine uh, cut and turn at the same time. And as you can see, as I'm turning, we're making pasta. <laughs> Zucchini pasta or long julienne three millimeter cuts and I would call this you know spaghetti like pasta and as you can see it goes really fast really simple and really easy with the spruley you can make you know this is great for people into raw foods you could make a, you know a marinara sauce or a white sauce a marinara sauce would be you know sun-dried tomatoes fresh tomatoes maybe some a little bit of basil some uh, pizza seasoning is what I like to use and some bell pepper and just blend that up in the blender. And then you'll have your nice pasta here. I mean, look how long these strips are. It's, it's crazy. They're so long. I mean, these could be as, as tall as, as long as, you know, six feet, seven feet, I mean, or longer. So once again, when you're done, this machine is very easy to clean. You're gonna take out the core. It does make a core, because that is the guide. You'll take that out and be able to clean up the machine. So now if you want to do an onion, in the spruley, basically you want to prepare the onion, so you're going to want to peel off all the loose um, paper on it, and you're going to cut off both ends. So let's go ahead and cut off both ends, and we're going to go ahead and just peel off all the paper on it, all the uh, dried paper. We want to get down to the part that's the uh, good onion, and this will make some amazing um, onion rings. Now we're going to use our onion that I already prepared and I cut the ends off of with the standard blade and this will make great onion rings. So if you're into raw foods, you could actually just process the onion in here and you're going to take the onion and then put it in the dehydrator and dehydrate it. So all you do is you put the onion and center the onion up once again. Push the tines into the machine and then you're just going to spin it just like everything else. And because the way the onion is already segmented, you'll actually get long strands out of the onion without actually even putting in the other blade. I mean, this is simply the slicing blade. So this is amazing. This makes an amazing garnish. I mean, look at this. This is a red onion. This looks so amazing. And look how long. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is so cool. So you can literally take this and dehydrate it into onion rings. You can maybe put some seasoning on it, and it's going to taste really good. So it's all possible with the spruley spiral cutter. So next we're going to process this yellow squash in the spruley. So now we're going to use the yellow squash to make five millimeter thick pasta out of this yellow zucchini or yellow squash and we're going to once again put that on, line it up, push this closed and then literally turn this machine and you can see out of the other end It's easy as this, you know, it takes literally 
30 seconds to process one whole squash. Just simply turning and as I'm turning, giving constant pressure, pushing that way. If you just turn it like this, nothing will happen. You'll say, John, this thing's defective. And I'll say, no, are you using it right? So you gotta push while you're pushing, turn. And then you're done. And look at this, you have nice, long, pasta-like noodles made out of 100% yellow squashed. So delicious. So this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. We hope you learned a little bit about the Spruley today. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.